Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about the measures of position. The basic purpose of all the measures of central tendency discussed in your grade 7 and grade 8 was to gain knowledge and deeper understanding about the characteristics of data set. Another method to analyze a data is set by arranging all the observations in either ascending or descending order of their magnitude. Then this ordered set is divided into two equal parts by applying the concept of median. However, to have more knowledge about the data set, we may divide it into more parts of equal sizes. Median. The median divides the distribution into two equal parts. So kung ang figure natin is a whole distribution, hinahati ng median ang distribution into two. So below the median at saka yung above the median. And itong line na nasa gitna that separates the distribution, ito yung median natin. Dito makikita yung median. It divides the distribution into two. So, yung isa below the median, the other one is above the median. The measures of the central tendency which are used for dividing the data into several equal parts are called partition values. We shall discuss data analysis by dividing it into 4, 10, and 100 parts of equal sizes. And the corresponding partition values are called quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. Okay, let's discuss the measures of position. So if this is your whole distribution, the median divides the distribution into two equal parts. Pag titignan nyo naman to, Yung buong distribution, hinati into four equal parts. And ito yung tinatawag nating quartiles. When the whole distribution is divided into ten equal parts, tinatawag natin tong deciles. Yung partition values niya are called deciles. Dito siya makikita. Yan. And if the whole distribution is divided into 100 equal parts, so yung partition values natin, tinatawag nating percentiles. Let's discuss about quartiles. So if there's a whole distribution, ang ginagawa natin sa data sets or sa datas na meron tayo is to divide it into four equal parts. So, yung makikita nyo yung partition na yan, ito, sorry, hindi pantay yung line ko, pinatawag natin yung quartiles. So, may quartile 1, quartile 2, at quartile 3. The quartiles divide the distribution into four equal parts. Let's go to deciles. Kung meron tayong whole distribution, ang ginagawa ni deciles is to divide the whole distribution into 9, sorry, into 10 equal parts. So, meron tayong decile 1, decile 2, decile 3, decile 4, or the 4th decile, decile 5, decile 6, the 7th decile, the 8th decile, and then the 9th decile. The deciles divide the distribution into 10 equal parts. Okay. Percentiles divide the distribution into 100 equal parts. So, kung meron tayong whole distribution, yung distribution na yan, inahati niya sa 100 equal parts. Kaya lang, sa illustration natin, mas mahirap nang ipakita yung percentile 1 hanggang percentile 99. Okay? Kasi sobra ng liit. So, yung gap between each, uh, each division is what we call the percentiles. Okay. So, for the measures of position, 
um, i-discuss natin yung ungrouped data ng quartile, percentile, and deciles. And then, meron din siyang group data ng quartile, percentile, and deciles. So, for ungrouped data, ito yung hindi natin ginagamita ng um, frequency distribution table. Ginagamit lang natin ito yung mga list lang ng numbers, hindi naka-table. While for group data, ito yung mga data sa sobrang dami na, let's say 30 and above, gumagamit tayo ng uh, frequency distribution table. So, this is just an introduction um, on the topic uh, quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. So, we will have a detailed discussion sa mga susunod nating um, video tutorials. Thank you for watching.